we're going to go over areas of figures with trig. All of y'all's favorite thing in the whole world. Um, so you can use several different trig concepts. You could, of course, use Sokotoa. And all of them can be done this way. Every single one of these problems can be done using Sokotoa. But if you happen to recognize a 45-45-90 or a 30-60-90, you could do it that way. So, of course, whenever it's a 45-45-90, it's an isosceles right triangle, and the hypotenuse is whatever the legs is, multiplied times the square root of 2. For a 30-60-90, we have 30 here and 60 here. So the short side, whatever that is, the hypotenuse is going to be double that. And then the longer side will be whatever that short side is with the square root of 3 next to it. Uh, but again, you don't have to do special right triangles. You can do trig on all of them. You do not have to do special right triangles. All right, whenever you come up with this, it's easiest to figure out what the formula is first. So for a triangle, we have half the length of the base times the height. Well, we know what the base is, but what we don't have is the height. So that's what we need to look for. So what we're going to do to solve for that is just focus on this left-hand triangle by itself. We're not going to worry about the right one yet, um, even though that is part of the whole triangle we're trying to figure out. Um, but to figure out the height, we're just going to focus on the pink one. So this is opposite, and this is adjacent. So whenever we... Plug that into Sokotoa. Opposite and adjacent is tangent. So we need to do the tangent of 42 is equal to opposite over adjacent, so h over 12. Multiply both sides times 12. Put this into your calculator and you get 10.8 for the height. Um, which is what we need. So don't forget that whenever you do uh, calculations with trig in your calculator, you must be in degrees. So always, always check to make sure you're in degrees. Now we can finally find the area, which means we do half. The base, the whole base together, this whole thing, is going to be 15 because 12 plus 3. So half of 15 times the height we just found was 10.8. So whenever I multiply that all together, I get 81.04, and we don't have units, so we just write units squared. You could also just leave this as 81 and round it to the nearest tenths. It's up to you. All right, on this one, we have a rectangle. So on the rectangle, we need... Um, base times height or length times width. But the point is that we need this length here. So we're only going to focus on this triangle to figure out what our base is. So this is our opposite. This is our adjacent. And of course, that is tangent. So the tangent of 25 is equal to opposite over adjacent. So 8 over, we're trying to figure out that B. Multiply by B on both sides. Then we need to move the tangent of 25 to the other side. So you're going to put this into your calculator which means that my base ends up being 8 divided by a tangent of 25, 17.2, because it's 17.156. Now we can do the area, which is 17.2 times 8. I always recommend that you go back and use the un... Um, what's it called? The unrounded answer. So what I'm going to do in my calculator is because... The answer, this answer is the last one I did. I'm just going to do times 8. And that actually will use the previous answer, the whole thing. So um, you have a more accurate answer, which is 
two, and we don't have units squared. Okay, now we have a trapezoid. So whenever you have a trapezoid, that formula is half the two bases added together times the height. We have our two bases, but what we don't have is our height. And this is a special right triangle. So to go from here to here, all we do is multiply times the square root of three, which means our height is five square roots of three. Now you could have done um, trig to figure that out. You could have done that um, the tangent of 60 is equal to h over 5, and you would have gotten a rounded answer, um, which would have been uh, 8.7. So it just depends which way you solve for it, but it would have, um, you should have gotten 8.7. Okay, so now I can find my area. My first base is 13. My second base is both of these together, which makes it 20. And then times my height, which we just found is five square roots of three. I always like to use the un, uh, um, unrounded one just because it is most accurate. It's better if you keep from rounding till the very, very end. Um, it'll also help a lot on your tests. We won't have to go back through and correct them as often if you um, keep the, the, mo the most accurate answer until the very, very end. You don't round it until the end. So now I'm going to do 0. 0.5 times 33 times 5 times the square root of 3, which all together gives me 142.9 square feet. Um, now, just know whenever you take this test, you will end up writing out square feet on your answers. Um, I didn't think about doing the this thing until we did the volume test. So on that test, it will just have the arrow. Your retest for this will just have the arrow. Um, but for some reason, I didn't think about it when I made this test, so I just wrote it out in words. So you will have to write it out in words. All right, this is a kite. So our kites, we need, it's like a rhombus. So it's half the two diagonals multiplied by each other to find that area. We do have this diagonal, uh, but we do not have this diagonal. Now, remember that this piece is the same length as this piece. So we only need to find one of the pieces in order to um, find the whole thing. So I'm going to focus on just this triangle. It is a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Um, so to get from here to here, you would divide by the square root of 3. So um, it's going to be half. Of, I'm just going to put x because it's going to be half of your diagonal. It's not going to be the whole thing. So it's 8 divided by the square root of 3, but we can't leave that in a denominator. So it's 8 square roots of 3 over 3. And then we need to double that in order to figure out what D2 is. So 2 times 8 square roots of 3 over 3, which makes it 16 square roots of 3 over 3. Again, leave it like this until um, you have your final answer because your answer will be most accurate. So for my area, I have 1 half, and then my first diagonal is 8 plus 4, which is 12. And then my second diagonal is this. So what that really is is a huge fraction. That's 12 times 16 square roots of 3 over 2 times 3, which is 6. So it looks like that. That's how I'm going to put it in my calculator. So 12 times 16 times the square root of 3 and then I'm going to divide that by 6, which gives me 55.4 meters squared.
And of course, if you wanted to keep it the most accurate answer, you would do 12 times 16, then divide that by 6, which gives you 32 square roots of 3 meters squared. Both of these are correct answers. Um, it just depends with, if you want. This is an exact answer, so on your test, it might say exact, in which case you would not round it. You would leave it like that. This one um, would have an exact answer too. You would do 33 times 5. Um, which would give you 165 square roots of 3 divided by 2. That's your exact answer. If you wanted this one as an exact answer. So there are possibles, possibilities for exact answers. You could also do 165 divided by 2, which is 82 and a half. So you could do, um, this answer could also be 82 and a half square roots of 3 feet squared. All of these are correct answers that are possibilities for this. Um, again, these would be exact answers. So it just depends what it's asking for, if you need exact answers or not. Um, you can't do exact answers on trig, but you can whenever you use special right triangles. Okay, so we're going to work on trig again for this one because this is not a special right triangle. It's not 30, 60, or 45. Um, so we have the area is half the two diagonals. <clears throat> we know one of the diagonals. We need to figure out the other one. And remember, this piece is going to be the same as this piece. So we really only need to focus on one. All right, so if this is 40, 16, by the way, is this piece here. This is 16. So, uh, and we need to find this one because that's part of our diagonal. So that is opposite. This is adjacent. And as you can see, most of the time we will be using tangent. That's just the way it works in real life situations frequently. Most of the time you will use tangent. So opposite over adjacent is x over 16. Multiply both sides by 16. And in your calculator, 16 times the tangent of 40 will tell you that x is 13.4. But we need to know what the whole diagonal is. So D2 is 2 times 13.4, which means that it would be, and again, do not do 2 times 13.4. Do 2 times your previous answer. So just do times 2. That way you have the most accurate answer. So 26.9 is the other diagonal, which means our area is 1 half. This whole distance is 24, 8 plus 16. And then the other diagonal is 26.9. So again, don't use this. Use the un, um, the unrounded answer. So you would, in your calculator, you would press times. So it'll use that this answer from the previous problem. Times 24 times 0.5. That way you get the most accurate answer that you can get if you round at the very, very end. We don't know what the units are, so it's units squared. Last one, it's a kite. It uses the exact same thing. Um, if this is 4, this is also 4. So we're actually going to have to solve two different problems because we need to know what this piece is and what this piece is. So I'm going to call it X and Y. Um, because this is a 45, 45, 90 triangle. X is four meters because um, 45, 45, 90 is our isosceles right triangles. And then for Y to get from our short leg to our long leg, you just multiply times the square root of three. So four times the square root of three meters, which means that we have one diagonal that's eight meters long and the other diagonal is four plus four square roots of three meters long. But that is our unrounded answer. So whenever we find our area, we do one half times eight times four plus four square roots of three. All right, half of eight is four. 
and then you distribute. So that means our area is 16 plus 16 square roots of 3 meters squared. Um, that is our exact answer. Now you can put this in a calculator. You would do 16 plus, and then parentheses 16 times the square root of 3. Oops. Which would give you about 43.7 meters squared. So both of these are correct answers. It just depends if it asks you for the exact answer or the rounded answer. But that's how you will find the areas using trick.